Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. How's it going? How was your day? It's good. Great. I had a busy day again. I work for 10 hours today. So I'm a little tired, but here I am. Good evening. Hello, Gabriel. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, you all. Hi, how are you? Tire. All right. Tire, but okay. Okay, my friends, let's start your class. I mean, our class. We're going to discuss these topics. And um, we have some examples here. You're going to ask your classmate about people in their family. What are they doing now? And then you're going to ask follow-up questions. Okay. So let me do something first. I need to do something so we can create the examples for you to start the conversations. Okay.
Okay, can you see my screen? This is the activity. Discussion is anyone. That's how we're going to start. That's how we can start our discussion. We have an example. Is anyone in your family? I want to make it bigger. Is anyone in your family traveling right now? Okay. We are using present continuous. Okay. So you are going to make questions in present continuous. Okay. If the first topic is traveling, here is the example. But if the, first, the second topic is living abroad, you're going to start with is anyone in your family living abroad? Understand this question? What is abroad? En el extranjero. So the question is easy to understand because uh, almost everybody in El Salvador have a family living in the States or in Europe or South America I mean, or any other country. So one of you, one from the group is going to say, yes, yes, my cousin is leaving. Pay attention to this, is leaving in Italy. Got it? Okay, then another partner is going to ask another question. Um, can be Hmm. Let me see another question. With present continuous, can you help me? Another question that we can ask about someone living abroad? What is the meaning? It's, it's studying. Ah, okay. What is the meaning of what? And Johnny. Ah, anyone. Anyone. Yeah. Anyone, okay. Uh, Alguien. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you say, mm. uh, is he studying or working there? We have another question. Got it? Thanks for the idea. So you're going to make that kind of question. So right now, you are going to write at least two questions for each topic. Traveling, living abroad. Oh, 
we have oh, we have six. Okay, we have traveling. Okay, so one question for each one. For traveling, living abroad, taking a class, going to high school or college, moving to a new home, studying a foreign language. ¿Qué significa living abroad? Vivir en el extranjero. Ah, en el extranjero. Okay. O, o viviendo en el en, en su defecto. Teacher. Hello. Pero en la primera este, pregunta que usted hizo, eh, la traducción comprendo yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Alguien en tu familia vive en el extranjero? Correcto. Sería así. O está viviendo. Está alguien de tu familia. Ah, está alguien. Ok, gracias. Pero lo podemos interpretar también. ¿vale? Hay alguien de tu familia. Ok, pero como tenemos is y el verb bien, el cero es tarea. Está alguien de tu familia, aunque nosotros no hacemos ese tipo de pregunta. Lo, lo interpretamos diferente. Ok. So please make one question for traveling, living abroad, taking a class, going to high school or college, moving to a new home, studying a foreign language. ¿Qué significa foreign? Ex extranjero. Es eh, un lenguaje, un lenguaje, un idioma extranjero. Okay, we can ask these questions like this. In number, I mean, uh, living abroad, taking a class. It's going to be the same. Is anyone... I'm going to write some example. Is anyone in your family uh, taking a class? Can be computer classes, um, English classes, French classes, uh, cooking. Carpentry, etc. Another example. Is anyone in your family going to high school or college? Got it? The other can be the same structure. Okay, I'm just giving you the, the, the first question. You can write another, okay? Is anyone in your family moving to a new home? 
anyone moving Okay, and the last one is anyone in your family studying? Studying. Studying a new language. Uh... Got it? You see the kind of question? Okay, after these questions, you're going to ask, uh, who is, okay, you say, yeah, yeah, Let, let's talk about the last the last question. Is anyone in your family studying the language? Yes, yes. You, you can say, yes, my daughter is studying French. Where is, where is she studying? Oh, she's studying at uh, El Salvador University. An example. Uh, that's an example. Oh, okay. And how is she doing? I mean, how is she doing with with the learning? Okay. Traveling, uh, living on wrong. Okay, that's hmm. understand the activity. My friends. Do you understand the activity? Yeah, teacher. Teacher, hello. We have we have to do that question in the rooms. Yeah, but these are the examples. You can start with this. These are the starters. Yeah, the we have a, a conversation with. with oh the yeah, family. yeah, yeah. If you ask about family, there can be more questions about the same person. Okay, but the questions are going to be in present continuous. I need you to, I mean, you have to speak or make questions in present continuous. Understand? Yes, yes. Good. And teacher, Hello. And we shall all, always use anyone. At the beginning, and... yes. At the beginning, yes. Okay. But the rest of the conversation, you can ask other kind of questions. Anyway, but... teacher. Anyone. Uh, anyone. 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 anyone um. No, no se usa en the answer. No, no, because you see the example here. No, don't use, don't use that in the answer. Look, the example is anyone in your family traveling right now? Yes, my dad is. Anyone means alguno de tu familia o alguien de tu familia. Okay. Because... Because that is no, como El Salvador, no, que hay alguien, si sí, hay alguien. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we are, you are trying to find out who is doing that in your family. Who is doing what? What is he doing? It can be your dad, your mother, your sister, your brother, your cousin, etc. Okay. That is only for the question. Okay. All right. Now, let's go to the rooms.
Okay. Welcome again. Let's continue with your class. Now we're going to read, okay? But I want you to listen first. Typical families, facts about the United States. 41% of homes have three or more televisions. 63% <clears throat> of family almost always eat dinner together. Fifty-five percent of mothers with young children work. Seventy-eight percent of high school students have jobs. Marriage. Seventy-four percent of adults between the ages of eighteen and thirty-five marry. 20% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. Understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. I want you to answer these facts about El Salvador, about our country. Like home, how three or more television. Yeah. Based on these facts, we are going to discuss the percentages of Salvadorian in that categories. Got it? Okay. Can you send an image? Because I guess Juan Carlos, I don't know who sends very nice images. I'm going to send this one, but you can resend it too. So I, what I want is, I want you to have a discussion in your group. Okay, discuss the percentage. See what was was uh what is true or, or according to your opinion. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go to the rooms. I'm gonna give you five minutes to discuss. Mm -hmm. Good. Here we go.
Okay, Orchidia. Y chera, uno quiero regresar, estaba discutiendo con los compañeros, ¿qué hago? Ah, me regreso, no, me regreso. No, no, ya, lo, Ay, no. ya lo llamé. Ok. Ya. Mm.
We have five minutes left. Sí. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, sí. But thank you for your enthusiasm. I come back. Yeah, everybody's coming back. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to ask this question. So uh, what the percent percentage of homes that have three or more televisions, according to your opinion? Uh, six percent. Excuse me. Sixty percent. Uh, yes, no, six, Maria. Six. In my six. group, uh -huh. uh, twenty percent. Twenty percent. Thank Say you. Twenty percent. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Another answer. Well, oh, in my group, 5%. 5% of the families. Yes. Okay, or the homes. Okay, another another opinion? In my, in our group, uh -huh. yeah, we think about 45%. 45%. 45% yes. of homes. Good. Thanks. Oof, they, okay, but, let, but let's... They have uh -huh. more of my cell phones. Oh, oh yeah, well, of course. That's that's unstoppable. Everybody's getting a cell phone, even the, the children and elderly people too. Okay. What is the percentage according to your opinion of family almost always eat dinner together? Mm -hmm. The second one. Twenty five percent. Twenty five percent? Yes. All right. Thank you. Wendy? Um, 100%. 100%. No, I don't believe it. 1 million. <laughs> 80%. 80%, 80 of the families almost yeah. always eat dinner together. That is a high percentage. Another opinion? Is a person... Uh, low because yeah. uh, because uh, many families uh, work study and yes uh -huh. few, few so, so what, yes. Mm -hmm. yes so what is the, what, what is your percentage what is your opinion i i opinion that is 25 percent okay. uh, you can say my opinion my or opinion. my opinion yes right. my opinion five percent Okay. 25%. Ah, 25%. Thank 25%. you. 25%. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, let's continue with the other one. What's the percentage of mothers with young children work? My my group, uh, seven, seven, 75%. Seventy-five percent. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. Let's have another opinion. Teacher, I'm sorry. Can you put the uh, Can you show us the other screen, please? Uh, which one? The second one. The typical families. Typical families. We don't. We yeah. can see. I. You don't see it. No. no. Oh. Okay. And now? Mm, no. We are no, no. not. No. <laughs> Wait. In my case, I continue watching the, is anyone in your family living abroad? What about now? Can you see, excuse me. I, I'm fixing the, the, the screen. What happened now? 
No, no. no. Nothing. It's the same. Nothing. And what, what are you what are you looking? We are the looking the question. One. The question of us about anyone. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, All disappear. Right. No, I got it. I got it. I'm fixing it. It's already. Okay, now yes. Okay, okay. I forgot to switch. I forgot to switch the the images. Okay, so what is the uh you were saying that seventy percent of mothers with young children work? Okay, what's another opinion? In El Salvador, it's, it's more elevated. Uh -huh. I think that is around the 85%. 85%, okay. Okay, let's have another opinion. We have 70 and 85%. We opinion I, that is 50%. Uh, 60%, okay. So our, our opinion, our opinion is, okay. Approximately, you can use the word approximately the 75% of mothers work, okay? Approximately. Yeah, because mostly the 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 mother that have children that they are young. Uh I don't know how do you say madres solteras? Single mothers. Single mothers. Yeah. yeah. That is a yeah. uh -huh. factor. Yeah. That is a that is a um, the reason. Yeah, that's the reason, and it's a very common pattern, a social pattern mm -hmm. here in El Salvador and in Latin America. Uh, yeah. In Latin America. All right. So let's go with the uh, what is the percentage of high school students have jobs here in El Salvador. <laughs> in Salvador, no teacher. The twenty percent. Twenty percent of, <laughs> of uh, school is, yeah. is very low. Oh yeah, yeah they're five they're, percent. They're lazy. Yeah, only one, <laughs> mama, <laughs> mama, and papa are, are are you know taking care of them. Yeah, yeah, because because my daughter, Salvador. yeah, my daughter doesn't work. I mean, she's a studying. Yeah, it's our culture. This depends on the culture of the countries. Because in the States, when you are in high school, you already work. You can work at a McDonald's, at a market, and you make mm -hmm. your money. That's different. But that's but that changed when the, the student finished the high school. Oh, no, but they can. No, you can get a job even when you're, you're in, in junior high. With, with 15 or 16 years old, you can work. 16 years old? Yeah, you can work in the States. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. So, aha, uh -huh. so you said the, the percentage of this uh, category is low. Yes, it's low. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. What the percentage of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 marry? Yeah. 40%. 40%? I think. You think? Mm. I Good. think that, it, that is the, the 60%, but... <laughs> it's something that is happened that the the families uh is destroyed. A lot of divorce. A lot yeah. of divorce. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's my case. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. your case. Really? Whose case is it? I'm divorced. You're divorced. Yeah. I'm separated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm separated. Yeah, but I'm 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 a big person right now. I'm fifty and something. I'm a big person. But young people, we're talking about young people like you. You are young. Okay, now the last one. 
was the percentage of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 that live with their parents? It's my case too. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. I think um eighty percent percent live yes. with their parents. <laughs> Seventy yeah. I, have, I have to get back with my mom for the situation. I know ninety percent. Seventy four percent and yeah. uh -huh. boys. Boys. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think by now, teacher, is uh -huh. uh, it's uh, gonna be common because all the houses are expensive. Uh the housing, the housing is getting expensive. Housing is getting expensive. Life is yeah. getting expensive. Really, prices expensive. prices are 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 going. Higher and higher and higher. Every week, everything is going up. Food is very expensive. Gasoline is getting expensive. Everything is getting expensive. Yes, yeah, teacher. So, and if you want to apply for a plan for to 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 get a, a house, you have to to get a lot of money, and and it's not easy. I know it's not yeah. easy. You have to have a, a, a stable, For example, stable with the job. Condom. Yeah. Yeah, they don't give you choices. And houses are very expensive. Okay, good. Thanks. It was a nice discussion. Maria Mercedes was uh, uh, saying that she was like, uh, um, she was like sorry because uh, they were in their group they were having a good discussion. But mm -hmm. okay, yeah. All right, good. So we're gonna continue right now with another activity. Okay, teacher. All right. Um yes. Okay. Hello. Here is the How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mainly. Actually, I am I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Any questions? No, teacher. No problem with the vocabulary? No, but it's the same like Europe. Teacher. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, line one, two, three, four. Mainly me. Yeah. yeah most yeah. family in China have only, only, only one, one child. child. Nowadays. Child? Nowadays. What? Only one Nowadays. child. Nowadays. Nowadays. That's Nowadays. Eight. Yeah, in estos días. Only one child nowadays. Nowadays is in estos días or actualmente? Yeah. No, in estos días. Okay. Yeah. Only one child. 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 Only one child. 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 Only one child. Only one child. Child. Thank okay, you. let's practice. 
Orquídea. I'm Marcos, you're May Lee, okay? Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Actually, I am an, an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? Like a rule. Please, please, please. Uh, be quiet, class, please. Okay? All right. Uh, what about yeah. you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Thank you, Orquidia. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay, Maria, okay. Del, Maria del Carmen is going to practice with... I can see this. What's your name here? I can see your name. Let me see. Vamos a ver aquí. Oh, with Stephanie Lisset. Okay. Continue, please. Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child no no nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are small, smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. All right. Thank you. Now we have two, two brothers. Okay, now we have two boys practicing, Joao and Gabriel. All right. Start. How many brother and sister do you have, May Lili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I did, no doubt. What about you, Mur? What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, it's that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller is they, but big families are great because you get you get lots of birthday presents. All right, thank you. Let's have Wendy and William. Wendy said a pica teacher. Okay, no. <laughs> es la pica teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Wendy? <laughs> Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. <laughs> wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. All right, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Let's have one more participation. Rose? Rose and Jose Alejandro. Yo voy a hacer a mailing. Okay. Rose. Mm -hmm. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Melly? Actually, I'm only child. Really? 
Yeah, most family in China have only one child nowadays. 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 Ay, que está bien borroso. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? No, really. Uh, a little of family are small this day, but mm -hmm. the family are great because you get a little of great day present. All right, very oh, good. All okay. right. Thank you, thank you. You're doing good, you're doing good. Good. Chair, teacher. Hello. Please, a lot or, or a, lot, a lot. Lots, uh, get lots. A lo uh, okay. No, get Say. lots, get lots of. Get. Get, okay. no, get. 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 Get lots of. Get, get lots, lots of birthdays. Presents. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Okay, my friends, I think it's time. It's time to call the attendance. Abimael Present. Ramirez, thank you. Aleida Areli Garcia. Present. Thank you. Cynthia Paola Tobias. Present. Thank you. Christian Josue Leiva. Present. Thank you. Francisco Armando Garcia. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Isaac Guevara. Present. Iris Vanessa Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Isaac Abdonay Tobar. Joao Mauricio Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Alejandro Flores. Present. Thank you. Juana Inés Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Virginia Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Hazel Fermán. Present teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Mercedes Valencia. Present teacher. Thank you. Miriam Maricela Escobar. Present. Present. Thank you. Mirna Griselda Mejia. Present. Thank you. Orquídea Esmeralda Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Roger Anilber Campos. Rosa Esperanza Pleites. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Lisette Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Emilia Hernández. Wendy Elizabeth Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Alejandro Beltrán. Here teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. We are finished. Tomorrow we have our last class. Okay. So please. Okay. Teacher, be... teacher, I have I have uh, a question. Uh -huh. uh, for the next uh, course, you will be our teacher too? I don't know. Okay. It's, not, it's not on my hands. Okay. No, pero yeah. vamos a hacer una revolución. Vamos a pedir al, al teacher. Sí, sí. Right. Thank, you. Right. thank you. 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 Thank you.